Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to the channel where you'll learn about code. Anyways, uh, welcome back guys to this channel. Uh, today I have a very special video for everyone. I noticed you guys love it when I create custom code solutions to problems. Now, today's problem is not as big as the NFT generator, but it's something very cool. It's called the Hashlips Art Pixelator. Now, this is a very small repo. You can go to this repository over here, scroll down and look at the documentation. And basically what I'm going to teach you is how to take normal images, a whole bunch of images, thousands if you like to, and translate them into pixelated images, aka maybe making a pixelated NFT collection, who knows? It's very simple to use, so I'm going to show you exactly how you can go about using it. Firstly, thank you so much for everyone's support. I always appreciate everyone in this channel and the community as a whole. Thank you for helping each other out, that helps me tremendously. And lastly, leave a comment and suggestions in the comments below. I always read them and I just love seeing good feedback that I can improve on. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how you can get the latest repo and the latest version of the Pixelator. Well, you can go here on the releases and click on the original release. There is the original release v1.0.0. Please don't confuse this repo with our Hashlips art engine. The art engine is much more sophisticated and a whole product on its own whereas this pixelator is just a helper kind of repo. Go ahead and go and download the source code here at the bottom. Once you've done that, you can go and extract it onto your desktop and then open it on your favorite IDE. What you'll need is Node.js installed on your machine. So go to this URL and select the operating system that you are using and follow the proper commands. You might possibly need to run this as administrator on Windows machines. For some reason, sometimes people run into issues. Anyway, go to the community on hashlobs.online on the Telegram group if you need help. Anyway, let's carry on with the code. After you have downloaded the Pixelator, what you can do is go and open it on your favorite IDE. So I'm going to go and say file open, go to the desktop, go to my, my downloads, go into this folder and open it. Now that I have it open over here, it's very, very, very simple to use. I'm going to show you exactly how to do so. Now that you have the program open, it's very simple to use. The only thing that you need to do first is upload a few images of your choosing into the input folder. So go ahead and go and add all your different images that you would like to get pixelated. Now I'm using the images that we have generated from the Hashlips art engine and maybe you can do the same, but maybe you have different images. The next thing that we have to take a look at is in this SRC folder, there's a file called config.js. We want to go and make sure that we play around with the ratio to get our desire, it, desired effect of a pixelated artwork. The smaller this number on the left hand side of the ratio, the bigger pixels you're going to get. I'll show you just now. This format is the actual output format of your canvas, basically of your image. So I'm going to make them 512 by 512 and that's all you need to know. The next thing that you can do is open your terminal here at the top click terminal new terminal and then inside here we need to first install the dependencies you can do that by run, running npm install this is now after you have installed node.js please make sure that you have those dependencies installed before running this at this point like i said if you're running into issues go and ask the community for help on telegram they really are willing to help now that we are installing all the dependencies, it might take a few seconds and there we go. It's installed. So the next thing that we now can do is we can actually delete this build folder. We don't have to, but this will be regenerated for us. So after we run our command, this will be populated full of images. 
So in the terminal, you can go and run node space index.js. And that's all you need to do. Now you just sit back, relax and wait and enjoy the show. The five images have now been converted. So if we open the build folder into pixelated images, how cool is that? Um, anyway, let's play around with it quickly. Like I said, if you go to the SRC folder into the config.js, if we make this smaller, like maybe two, then you can go and run it again by running node space index.js in the terminal. And now you see we get even bigger pixels. You can have fun with this program and play around. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go and give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and if you're going to use it. And till next time, guys, have a great evening.